All right. This is Intuitive Empress coming to you with another message. I was getting myself together for the next day. And I felt led to do this late night message. This is a general message for all signs. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Thank you so much for supporting me. Those who have supported me from day one up until the present. And to my new viewers, welcome. Welcome to the channel. To returning viewers who have yet to subscribe, welcome back. Please do take the time to subscribe. It is free. It costs you nothing. So take the time to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you know when the next videos are available to you. Thank you for everyone who have donated. That information is in the description to my cash app. It's $7.77 to have an age donation. That is the minimum if you feel spiritually led to donate more you can it goes back into the channel and feeds this channel please do like this video the comments have been turned off uh, temporarily or maybe even permanent I haven't decided yet and I do have links to my Etsy shop where you have the oracle cards that I have made if you are interested um, along with some other things that will help you out spiritually. So check that out. Check out the products that are underneath this video. There may be some things that you like there. With no further ado, let's start this message. All right. So I don't know how I combined two decks. One is uh, an oracle deck that I don't even remember the name of, but another one is also the spilled tea. So we had a third party energy or three or more people are involved in this situation involving a queen of cups. Queen of cups is a mother figure or a wife, someone who's family oriented and loyal, loving, nurturing, sensitive, intuitive, could be a prophetic person, someone who is an empath and a healer. All right. And then we have the Ten of Swords. So then there was some portrayal. Um, destruction. It could have been a destruction of how you saw someone. Uh, somewhere where you felt like your life was ruined. Um, agony. Um, you could have severed ties with someone. Maybe even this Queen of Cups. It was a painful ending. Uh, you see here on this picture, um, it is like an uh, angel who cut their wings off. Okay, so you could have felt like someone was a fallen angel or someone fell in your eyes or you fell in someone else's eyes. All right, someone who thought highly of you or someone that you thought highly of. All right. Um, you could be a dreamer with the page of cups, okay? This is someone you had a lot of affection for, but this is someone who ended up being immature. Wow. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. <sighs> wow, this is someone who moved in fast. All right, they could have love bombed you. They are someone who is self-assured, but impulsive. Someone who is confident or seems confident, but can be very aggressive. This is someone you had a lot of love for. Um, you love them unconditionally in spite of their faults. This is someone that uh, you felt like you could have happiness with. Um, you tend to be someone who is hopeful, um, have a lot of dreams. This could be spiritual dreams, dreams when you sleep, or this could be 
dreams for your life, achievements, success. I do see that coming for you. I see you manifesting this out with the Magician card. Hmm. I feel like there has been some creative inspiration that has come to you. Causing you to transform your losses into success. Yeah. This came after feeling trapped, victimized, being a victim, feeling powerless and restricted. Possibly being blinded by the truth of who this person really was. Hmm. hmm. I feel like this person feels guilt for how they abandoned you, causing pat, uh, sadness and pain in your life. Some great remorse, feeling guilty, feeling despair. Feeling a loss of focus and grief from the trauma that they put you through. Hmm. Anything else, Holy Spirit, before we end this portion of the reading? someone who now feels trapped and stuck um, bound by the decisions that they made this is someone who tried to keep you trapped and stuck this person was cold and heartless I'm trying to get this to focus this person was cold and heartless hmm Again, we have immaturity with the page of wands. They seem like they were so optimistic. They had some great ideas. This is someone that was a lovable rogue. So they did not want to be tied down or feeling like they were tied down in a relationship. I feel like this person taught you some valuable life lessons. This is the will of fortune. So there are cycles that are ending. There's great change. Something happened unexpectedly that seemingly changed your destiny. This is also a card that's in the upright of possibly getting a windfall of money. You see, with this person, it's like money is blowing towards them. Their fate is changing. And I feel like yours is too. Something happened in the winter months for some of you. Or maybe this change in fortune began to happen for you in the winter months. We're still in the winter months, even though we're at the tail end of the winter um, spring is the 21st or the 22nd of this month, and we're already almost 10 days in. So something is changing for you before this season closes. You may be getting communication right now or about to happen for you in the next couple days. That's going to change your fortune. Right now, your your finances are struck, may be struggling. You may have experienced a loss as a result of being left out in the cold by this person that you have had this betrayal from. Hmm. This person may have made you feel disgraced, left you to struggle, caused a scandal in your life. Hmm. 
and you feel like that they did it without remorse. Hmm. This person was clever. They gossiped about you. Tried to stop your finances to come in by messing with your reputation. Hmm. Now this person is spying on you to see if what they did took effect. Now, I'm not even sure if this is the same person who you felt betrayed you, whether it was a friend or lover, because there was more than one person involved. And somebody had the ill will, leaving you, thinking they were leaving you in the Nine of Swords. There may have been a time where you had anxiety, where you did have insomnia, where you were burdened because of the disappointment. But now I'm seeing, because the wheel is turning, that this karma is turning around. And now this person is experiencing disappointments, distress, regret, remorse. Again, we have remorse here. They could be up at night having nightmares when they do sleep. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. If this part of the message resonates with you, let me know by liking this video. If you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe to the channel. You made progress, even though the progress may have been slow. This is the More Situations deck. It is available on Etsy under Intuitive Envisions 111. If you're interested. Someone, you're going to run into someone from the past, someone from that group of three or more. Unexpectedly, maybe someone that you were in a relationship with. This is someone who cheated on you. Um, with this deck, I always go by the arrows. This card is pointing to this unexpected pop up this unexpected running into this is someone who got busted in public and when I say public I just feel like that you could have walked in while they were having a conversation while they were facetiming or um, video chatting someone or just the change in behavior could have busted them um, I feel like this person who got caught cheating and busted with you um, is coming back to test the waters. I don't feel like this was a chance meeting. For some of you, this could have been a long period of time, uh, six months or more, up to a year or more that you have not seen this person. Um, they want to make an offer, but they're trying to test the waters to see if you would be willing to accept them back after what they have done. For some of you, this person could have caused online drama with you, making issues or what they said was issues public. Because I do feel like that there was some dishonesty here. There's a reason why you felt betrayed. Maybe the public bu being busted in public was something that popped up online. And so the public 
of the online community was able to see this. But there is something, there's a light bulb moment that either was illuminated to you or for this person. What happened to this spirit? Tell us a little bit more about this situation. Hmm. This person who popped up unexpectedly and cheated provided mixed signals. They wanted your attention and then they pulled away. Hmm. One moment it was yes, another moment it was no, then it was maybe a maybe. Mixed signals. Somebody that was hot one moment, cold the next, lukewarm the next. Hmm. This person has some secret desires that they were hiding from you. Which is why they had multiple partners, people who filled those desires. Hmm. This person left you with more questions than answers. Their actions were questionable. This is the same person who wants to pick up where they left off, trying to manifest you in. How are they trying to manifest the community in Holy Spirit? Hmm. Oh, wow. This is someone... Who has a burning passion for you. But they didn't keep it 100% the last time. And I'm picking up that you feel like they're not keeping it 100 now. So you are guarded. I feel like this person may want you intimately. This is why they want to pick it up where it left off. Hmm. But they're testing the waters to make an offer to you to see if you would accept it. Because nowhere on here is anything about commitment. This is someone who is unreasonable, only seeing things one way which is their way I heard it, my way or the highway hmm. but I feel like this person is going to come back sweet to get you in hmm. this is someone who used you as an accessory you looked good on their arm or maybe it is what you did that looked good but they were supplementing a relationship with you. Hmm. I also see with this third party, there is a conspiracy of other people plotting to keep you away from this person. Probably one of the harem of people that this person had, which is why this relationship failed to get off the ground. Hmm. All right, we're gonna go a little bit deeper because I still feel like we're like scratching the surface of this. Hmm. 
I already shuffled this deck, but I'm just shuffling again. This is definitely someone who betrayed you or you feel betrayed you. I'm even getting that this person felt like you betrayed them because you walked away. Remember, this is someone who wants it their way. They want to control the situation. They want to control you. And this person thought that they had you under their control until you walked away. They didn't think that you would. Hmm. This person was keeping you or these other people a secret. And they're angry. Very angry. That you walked away. I feel like they were crushed by the fact that you walked away. But also, for some of you, they did have feelings for you, like a puppy love for you. That you were looking for more than pup puppy love. Now this person, they really do believe that they love you. But, and they're willing to fight for you. But I don't feel like it's in the proper way or context. I don't feel like that they are taking accountability for what they did. Causing you to not want to hear anything they have to say. I feel like this person doesn't want to apologize. They're non-apologetic. They may have regrets, but they don't want to humble themselves to apologize to you. Hmm. I feel like this person could have even envied you or the other people they were involved with. Their family, their friends may have had some envy, even other lovers. Hmm. Hmm. Whoever this is that's envying you is investigating you gossiping about you in their feelings about you hmm I feel like this person ended up being your person's worst nightmare and they were trying to be yours or this person again could be confirmation that they're having nightmares This person, I feel like, kept your relationship private. Um, it could have been because they had more feelings for you than they did. Because we have keeping you a secret and private relationship. They did not want the other people who were involved in this tantric SEX to know about you. Hmm. Because we see that they had a secret life. I feel like you had to defend yourself with this person or you're going to be on a defense when this person comes back in. Standing your ground, holding on to your boundaries. Hmm. This person knows they screwed up with you. 
I feel like when they came into your life, they had some things they needed to be delivered from. They still do. They There's nothing here to say that they changed. Having car, a karmic or multiple karmics who were spoiled. Hmm. And these karmics caused a break in this relationship. Or this secret life. That's what I heard. Hmm. I feel like this person tried to hide their life, their secret life. But like I said, for many of you, you are um, intuitive, prophetic. So some of you already knew something was awry. And you may have even known through dreams, through visions about This other person or persons. This person is trying to hide the drama that is attached to them. Hmm. This person thought themselves a player, but in the end, they ended up getting played. They were a liar, a manipulator, and a control freak, and they ended up with one. I feel like this person, you had to put them in their place. And for some of you, this person had to put this karmic in their place because they want you back because you were born to shine. Wow. All right. If you made it this far, please let me know by liking this video, subscribing to the channel. Hmm. I'm not going to use that. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the community? This is um, the messages from the divine deck. It is the or one of the oracle cards that I have made. In case you're interested, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description. Oh, all right. Spirit is saying to breathe and let go of whatever worry you may have. Trust yourself and trust your intuition. Let go of your need to control the outcome of a situation. This also could be for your person that they need to let go of their control issues and trust their intuition because their intuition has been telling them that they're going in the wrong path. This person is experiencing setbacks. I feel like that you may have experienced some too, uh, being upset and overwhelmed by bills. You could have had bills because of this person or as a result of breaking up in this relationship whether it was a divorce whether you live with this person or not i feel like that there is balance coming into your life i'm not gonna say feel that's what the cards say there's balance coming into your life i'm also picking up that this person needs to balance their mind body and soul all right there is a raise or promotion coming for you to balance out this temporary setback. There will be an increase in your finances as a result of you focusing on what you needed to do to pick yourself up 
I see you rising from the ashes like a phoenix. There's victory on the horizon for you. Hmm. Your intuition is increased during this time, whispering to your soul and your heart the truth and hoping that you hear that truth. I also feel like your person is getting messages from the Most High in the form of intuition, but it's up for this person to do some self-reflection and figure out what the divine is trying to tell them. Hmm. Again, we have trust your intuition. You are more powerful than you think. And the more you trust your intuition and follow what it's telling you, the more empowered you'll become and you'll be able to easily fight off this or move this negative energy away from you. That's designed to hinder your growth. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Keep praying. God is hearing your prayers. You have a strong connection to the Most High. Communicate with him throughout the day. Wow. Don't be too caught up in your thoughts. I feel like some of you are caught up in your head. For others of you, this could be your person. Do a temperature check, a energy check on yourself. Make your intentions known. Find out what your intentions are and make sure that they are pure in this situation. Some of you may have to do some shadow work. This person that we were dealing with needs to as well. You are getting strength from what you have experienced in life. It has made you strong and courageous. Hmm. I feel like you're turning your pain into power with the transformation card. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, you are on a verge of a spiritual awakening. Getting signs and synchronicities. You might be seeing angel numbers experiencing deja vu. There is a sudden change coming. There's time for change. This change could be with you or it could be with your person. They could be experiencing a spiritual awakening. They may need to trust themselves so they can get past this temporary setback and listen to their intuition. Whether they end up with you or not, because spirit is trying to speak to them. Hmm. We're going to end this message and round out with some angel messages, just in case you or your person, because both of you could very well watch me. It's the reason why I was, and I was done with the readings for today, and I, I just felt the unction to come in here and do another reading. This is a general message, so 
Parts may resonate with you and parts may not. Parts may be for other people. So eat the meat and don't choke on the bone. Right? Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for the community? All right. So we have 777. You're on the right track, community, towards manifesting. Manifestation did come out in the reading. Your dreams and goals into reality. You've been hearing and listening to the to divine guidance. You are on the verge of higher levels and new levels. But that's why you have to keep praying because with new levels come new devils. 14, 14, strengthen your foundations. Support the person you want to build with. Don't be discouraged by challenges. Rid yourself of bad habits. Hmm. Yeah, that's important. Because again, you're on a verge of change. You have 777, which is 7 and 7 is 14. 7 and 7 is 14. So you have 7 and 7. You have 14. 14, which breaks down to 777. All right, so you're on the right track, but you need to strengthen your foundations. This could also be for your person, that they need to support the person they want to build with. Now, that could be you. And they definitely need to rid themselves of bad habits. I feel like this person is easily discouraged. Or this could be you. Take it as it resonates. We have 1919. Let your angels guide your life. You're becoming a better person. Your goal is almost complete. A door is closing, but another is opening that will lead to success, wealth, and this is in your professional side. So there is a change. Again, we have the promotion card that came out. Hmm. We have 1717. Step out of your comfort zone and take risk. You're making huge strides in your personal and spiritual growth. You're a truth seeker. This is a card of new beginnings. Dream, manifestation, and inspiration. Hmm. So keep working towards your dreams. It says your intuition, intentions are manifesting quickly. Focus on what you want and what you don't want. The law of attraction is there, one, one, one. 111 equates to three, which is Father, Son, Holy Ghost, which is the Trinity, which is the three in one. Okay, so God is definitely on your side. You just have to make sure that your focus is on what you want and what you don't want. All right. On the bottom of the deck, we have 888 which is something because you have eight and eight on here. Seven and one is eight and you have that twice. And I was going to mention eight. Eight is the affinity symbol. All right. It is a card of new beginnings. Lots of money is coming your way. You are aligned with the money you desire. You are learning lessons of balance and responsibility. And I did get a notification when I was talking about this card and the change. That was confirmation. And we did get change. Sudden change is coming. This is a card of wealth and prosperity. Hmm. 
this was a very interesting message. I, I feel like many of you have come through a challenging time, challenging relationship, or be it romantic, because some of you it's romantic, for some of you it's friendships, for some of you it's family, for some of you it's work relationships. But things are about to turn around for you, even if it's a combination or all of the above, things are getting ready to change in your favor. You just have to keep focus, keep your thoughts on those things that are positive, on your goals, on what Holy Spirit has promised you. Because they are in the process of being manifest or whatever your thoughts are focused on, that is what is about to manifest in your life. All right, so that is the message that I have for you. If you made it this far, don't forget to like, hit that thumbs up button, this video, subscribe to the channel. If you're not a subscriber and hit that bell notification, I will see you next time. Bye.